Greetings, I'm Shad, and out of any other sword that has ever been made, the katana is probably the most misunderstood. Now, this is an interesting thing because a lot of its um, misunderstandings or the misconceptions about the katana come about because it's so well known, and that's in contrast to swords that are not well known of. Um, and you can kind of see how that's the case. If someone doesn't really know about a sword, they're not going to really know what to misunderstand about it. But if they know of a sword, and the katana is a very famous one thanks to pop culture and uh, Japanese pop culture, anime, I'm a fan of anime, depending on the type of anime. And as anime is fiction, it's also entertainment, um, and a lot of it will be in the fantasy kind of realms, they have their characters doing supernatural things. And if it's a Japanese culture base, the sword that they'll be using would be the katana. And then of course they show the katana doing supernatural things as well. And even in just kind of heroic fantasy genres of the Japanese um, films that have been made and stuff like that, because it's a bit of a heroic fantasy slash fiction, they they also show, you know, uh, people wielding the katana doing supernatural things and the katana chopping through things that really shouldn't be able to chop through, but that's the same in Western cinema as well. And in Western cinema we also have fictional swords like Excalibur, and in the case of Excalibur, I mean, um, Excalibur can do supernatural things because it's a magical sword. There's no implication saying it inherits these supernatural abilities just because of the type of sword it is. Whereas in many cases with the katana there is that implication in the context of the fiction but unfortunately, sometimes fiction for some people can be hard to separate from fact. And this has given rise to the katana fanboys, the people who believe that the katana is the best sword in the world, and that because of the way it's made, it can chop through things that other swords can't chop through. And I mean, there are people who kind of tease katana fanboys and saying that they believe it can chop through mountains and tanks. It'll split the world in half. But that's just making kind of caricatures out of people who really, really like the katana, but I have honestly come across people who believe the katana can chop through, say, European swords and even machine gun barrels. Well, the Mythbusters debunked uh, the myth about uh, a sword, and they start with the katana, but they go into other swords as well, being able to chop through a machine gun barrel, and the truth is, a sword cannot chop through steel. Soft steel Maybe if it's thin and very small and there's, you know, videos of people doing that and they think, oh, it's amazing, but it's really thin and soft. I mean, come on. No, the truth is a sword, no matter what type of sword, can't chop through steel. And there are many more misconceptions about the glory of the katana. But what people don't realize is that on the other end of the spectrum, the people who kind of bash on the katana. So you could say you have katana fanboys and then you could say you have katana bashes. And amongst the katana bashes, there are also misconceptions as well. Quite a few, more than I realized. Now, I have actually sat in both camps. I have been a katana fanboy and I have been a katana basher. All right, and the reason is, is because one, I like swords, and two, I like truth. And so as I like swords, of course, when I come across the katana shown in pop culture, things like that, I think it's awesome. And I became a full on katana fanboy, and I did honestly believe that the katana could chop through other swords because I was misled. There is so much misinformation out there from what you would think would be reputable sources, like legitimate documentaries. One that I'll even be referencing in my videos in regards to the truth about the katana is the PBS documentary that's uh, quite well known. It's all it's available on YouTube. You can look it up and you'll find it. And there are a lot of misconceptions in it, untruths, things that are just flat out incorrect. Of course, there are facts in it, facts that are accurate. So the problem is when you mix facts with untruths, it, people accept the facts because, yeah, it seems quite obvious, and then they start to accept the untruth as well, and that's what happened to me, and I started to believe incorrect things about the katana. But because I'm the type of person who likes to know more about the things I like, I, of course, went into doing more research about it and more swords, and I realized that I had been misled, and that kind of ticked me off. I don't like being lied to, but in all honesty, it wasn't lies. It was just people who didn't really know what they were talking about. They were just being stupid. 
And so I went to try and find out all the true issues and misconceptions and untruths that I had been taught. And I found out a whole heap of stuff and I became a katana basher. I was a bit, you know, dark on the katana. I thought I was actually, in truth, a pretty crap sword, especially in comparison to other European types of swords. But then guess what? As I went and researched it more, because that's the kind of thing I like to do, I found out that even on that side of the spectrum, I was also misled. And so if there is any subject that deserves a truth about video, it is the katana. And that's what I'm doing. We are gonna get into it. And I will be sharing some information that there is a good chance you haven't ever heard of before, especially if you look to, you know, the or well, the internet. It's funny I say that because I went to the internet to do research, but it took a lot of researching to find the truth, or as I, I hope I have found it because, oh my God, my goodness it took a while and none of these accurate facts that I have been now to dig up I have never seen on another YouTube video so I would like to think you are going to hear and learn some things that you have not heard or learnt before and I'm only saying that because I hadn't until I did a lot of digging. So because there are so many opinions regarding the katana and there is so much information and misinformation out there, of course I need to break um, this subject up into several videos. So this is the introduction, just giving us kind of an understanding of how these, um, uh, you know, the information and misinformation has come about how people have developed the opinions they have, and how I will be approaching this subject. The next video where we really kick things off will be looking at what the katana is made out of. After that, we will look at how the katana is made, the actual forging process, and there are some really good facts that I'll be able to share with you, and I do feel a lot of it you probably might not have heard before. And lastly, the katana's design, its shape, and how that affects its use. Now I have approached this subject with a decent amount of caution because there are a lot of opinions out there and honestly I really want to get this one right. I've done a lot of research to try and get in a position where I feel I know what the facts are. But even with all the research I have done I don't discount the fact that I might get one or two things wrong. It's just the nature of reality, okay? So please do take what I say as an informed opinion on this subject but don't consider myself an expert all right, and that what I'm saying is definitively true. I hope I get as close to the mark as I can, and I hope that a lot of it is correct because I've certainly done the work to get there. But all I can do is rely on the information that I have found. And if that information proves to be ultimately incomplete or incorrect in some way, I apologize. And before you watch anything of mine where I talk about anything of a mildly controversial nature or even a fully con controversial nature, uh, please watch my disclaimer video. So please follow me over to the the next video what the katana is made out of because there are some awesome things that I really want to share with you. The link can be found there. Damn it. Okay, the link can be found there. Stop it! It's there! there, there. Ow! I have an egg. I have an egg. Oh, I need to calm down a bit. The link's there!